Hello everybody, this is Street Gamer here for the conclusion of the Kakashin Clash Tournament. And what a mighty clash this tournament has proven to be. So we have three beautiful dinosaurs all going at it to win this tournament. We have Rugops, the Danoceratops and the Orange Triceratops. Without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which is a Danoceratops versus Rugops. Right, go then. In the red corner, we got probably definitely the underdog story in this tournament, the Adanoceratops. This little lightning dinosaur has proven to be quite a pain in the ass for some of their heavyweights, like Eocarcaria and especially Brontokins. However, another dinosaur that has, well, I don't know, kind of surprised people, may have surprised you. In the finale, we got the Rugops. This Rugops has made earned his place here with an overwhelmingly powerful crit and I'm sure he'll be looking to get off that ninja attack early to gain early momentum. Who is it? it? Well I said in the last session that I just had a feeling that Rugops will win this tournament. Let's see if I'm correct. Well with a start like that I'm not going to be correct. What a start from a Danoceratops is a lightning spear. Oosh. And blip. An elemental power coming in here. We've seen a Dinoceratops use this before. It caused all sorts of problems for Brontokins. Well, that's the elemental power maxed up, so the ninja attack will not have as much effect. That's crucial. Oh, up oh, there goes the Rugops. Well, it's kind of an underwhelming start to this finale, isn't it? A Danoceratops off to a strong start as ever. But let's not count our Rugops out yet. Can still come back. He has come back before. You'll have to do it again. So let's move on to round two. Right then, round two. Will it be as quick as round one? Or will we be in for a little bit more of a longer match? Come on, Rugops, pull yourself together here. You can't let this little lightning dinosaur run, walk, run all over you. Ooh. A crit off the bat. Is this what Rugops needed? This crit is going to do a serious amount of damage to a Danoceratops. Oh, look at that! And the critical block, which guarantees that Rugops will do damage next. So, yep, Rugops will be going for Rock. Can't go Paper Mate. Ooh, you gotta go Rock. Boosh! The move breaker nullifying the Lightning Strike. This is much more like it from Rugops. Ooh, but a Danoceratops not beaten yet. Getting that cheeky little hit. Ooh, hold, hold on a minute. A Danoceratops landed another blow. Can Rugel Rugops be able to finish the job? Or can a Danoceratops recover? Okay, yeah, I think that's going to be recovery. And that pretty much seals the deal. We are all square between these two. So you know what that means. Say it with me. It all comes down to the next round. Ooh, we're on the beach. Our deciding round between these two, a win will give either one of them an excellent platform to win this tournament. Defeat, and well, they'll probably have to, well, they're going to have to rely on other results to go their way. And a draw, well, a draw opens the door for the Orange Triceratops. Plenty at stake here. Rugops lands the first blow. The warning type effect is activated there. Look at the damage. Wow. Wow, is warning type really that good? Well, if Rugops gets a crit, and he could get it. Oh, yeah, that's gay. He's got the warning type effect. Rugops. Shredding. Shredding your Danoceratops. And it is Rugops that will be taking all the spoils. Well, Danoceratops started strong, but... Wow, I, I would like to have seen how much damage that crit would have done to a Danoceratops 
at full health. Because I crit could have done a lot of damage. But nonetheless, it is Rugox winning the match. And, and he puts himself in a strong position to win the tournament. As for Adanoceratops, well, I think he's going to have to hope that the, that the Orange Triceratops defeats Rugops and that he can defeat the, the uh, Orange Triceratops. <laughs> right, let's get on with our second match, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we've got the Orange Triceratops. The dinosaur that many people didn't know existed in this game? Well, they saw it as the Super Triceratops. Not the Stone Cold Generic Orange Triceratops. Or Chomp, or Chomp. Anyway, in the blue corner, we've got the Adanoceratops bruised after his, batter, after his battering against the Blue Gops. And in order to keep his tournament hopes alive, he needs to win this match. But that will not be easy, this Orange Triceratops has been an absolute truck so far. And I should say, if Orange Triceratops wins, it will come down to the next matchup between him and the Rook Oh dear. Well, with a start like that, I think the Orange I think this Triceratops is probably going to win. Boosh! Although his crit isn't as powerful as Rugops's. Ooh, tried it again, did we? The Danoceratops not falling for it this time. Getting a hit of his own. Elemental power is definitely going to help him. Oh, that's a tie. And yep, there's the 1 0 lead for the Triceratops. This kamikaze tackle will be the killer blow. A pointless attack boost as well, and it is 1 0 to the orange Triceratops. Right, let's get on with round 2. Oh, in the Alpha Arena. Well, if the Orange Triceratops gets this done, it will be down to him and Rugops, as the Danoceratops will be out of contention and will have to settle for third. Hey, third place, given the opponents he's beaten, is a fine achievement. Okay, yeah, I, th I think it's going to come down to this guy and Rugops. The Danoceratops, just, I think, has just run out of gas. You know, he's putting so much effort to get this far. Defeating the Okarkiria, defeating Polar Canthus with the type disadvantage, defeating Bronthikins. I think the journey's gonna end for Adanoceratops. But, as I said, third place is a very, very respectable finish given who he's at the face to get this far. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> wow. The Orange Triceratops getting the job done, demolishing the Adanoceratops, and leaving it all down to the final match. Boosh! Good win there for the trike. As for Adanoceratops, better luck next time. Now then, it all comes down to this deciding matchup. Who will win this tournament and who will fall at the last hurdle? Let's find out. Well then, it all comes down to this and it's fitting that round one will be played in a Colosseum. Which one of these titans will emerge victorious? Will it be the Rugops or will it be the Triceratops? Hey, you're supposed to be Max. What's going on? It's a trick. Did we start with a tie? The move breaker there coming in handy for Rugops. And it is Rugops striking the first hit. But, because his other two moves are quite weak compared to its crit, that hit has not done much damage. Oh, another hit, another hit. Rugops slowly chipping away at the trike. Ooh, they both went for the crit. Ooh, now that could be useful for the Rugops in nullifying the trike's crit. But he doesn't even need it, and instead, he's gonna kill the orange Triceratops with the ninja attack. 
Rugops proving once again how mighty his crit is. Right, that's a 1-0 lead for Rugops. All he needs now is to win in round 2 and he's won it all. Well, it all comes down to this. Fitting with fighting on a sunset beach, isn't it? Can Rugops get this one? Or does the orange Triceratops have some fight left in it? Oh, this is it. This is it. It all comes down to this. Well, not necessarily. If the Triceratops is even things up, it all comes down to the next round. But at this point, it's all or bust for the Triceratops. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought it was all or bust for my internet. And it's Rugops landing the first hit. Getting the warning tight effect as well. Wow, is that like double damage? That's insane. Or maybe it feels like double damage because it's two. It's rock and paper moves are so weak. Wow, this Triceratops can't even get a hit. Oh, that ninja attack would have done it, but the orange Triceratops saw it coming. Landing a crucial, crucial hit, getting a attack boost going as well. Oh, another tie. Ties will suit the Rugops though. Another tie. Oh wow, this is this is nail biting. Another tie. Rugops. Can he do it? Oh, he's done it. Wait, has he done it? This might not be lethal. Oh, it's not. Actually, yes, it is. <laughs> the crit block makes sure of it. The critical block is going to guarantee that Rugops will win this tournament. And he gets a hit anyway. Actually, I, would, I am curious. No, no, a tie wouldn't be enough. But regardless of that, it is Rugops winning this, winning this tournament. And actually, a tie would have been enough anyway. Wow, the orange Triceratops has just ran out of steam. In fact, I think both of the di lightning dinosaurs just ran out of energy in the end. And it is the Rugops that emerges victorious and wins the Kakashin Clash. Right, let's give him his five minutes of fame. So, yep, that is our final three, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Rugops in first place, six points, defeating both Triceratops and Udanoceratops. Then we have the Triceratops coming in in second place. And then Udanoceratops finishing in third. And I tell you what, given that there was only three lightning dinosaurs in this tournament, and two of them made the final, I think even though they didn't win in, win it, a good showing for the lightning dinosaurs. Well, that is it for this tournament. And I'm sure you're wondering, will there be a poll for the next mini tournament? Uh, no, there won't be. Because the next tournament is going to be a spooky showdown tournament. It's going to be a 16-team tournament. But... This time, you guys get to pick what dinosaurs feature. I mean, I'll do all the moves in that, but you guys get to pick the dinosaurs. But these dinosaurs have to be, you know, they have to have a justifiable reason to be included in the spooky showdown. So no using something like, uh, I don't know, um, Uluru Titan. Because <laughs> it, it's not spooky at all. It's got to be a spooky dinosaur. got to be ferocious. Something like, well, Rugops, because it's like green, greeny, snotty, nightmare, fuelish, I don't know. Or you could even pick the orange Triceratops, because it's got a pumpkin colour. But yeah, that is it for the Kakashin Clash, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until then, this is Dreamy Gamer, signing out. Mm -hmm.